Okay, so now we're talking about measurements, and we have two rules for measurements. Our first rule is determine the scale. And our second is that we can estimate one digit more. So we have to do those two things. Now, a measurement, so a measurement is just a number with the units attached, right? So we, we have that piece of the puzzle first. So let's look at what we can do for our measurements here. So in this first one, I know it's at least six, it's at least seven, it's at least eight. It's not nine yet. It's, this arrow is coming before that nine. And we have, let's see, what is the scale here? So it's going up by ones, right? Eight, nine, 10. And then there's those little hash marks. So 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, and so forth. So I know it's at least an eight. Then we start talking about decimals. I know it's at least a nine, so 8.9. And I'm gonna say that one's halfway. Now, could this read 8.94, 8.93, 8.96, 8.97? Absolutely. This number, this number right there is the only one that's estimated. So let's look at the next rule. So we have 120, 130, 140. These are going up by tens, which means that I have to estimate this little ones place right here. So I know it's at least 130, and let's call that 133. Again, could that be 132, 134? Absolutely, as long as it's reasonable. I can make the case that it's not halfway because I can, I can see that pretty well, but I can say how much or how little based on using my estimate. Now we have the next one. This is 2200, uh, 2210, 2220, 2230. So these are going up by ones, each one. So. 2,221, 2,222, all the way to 2,225. So we got 2,225. And then I have a decimal point here because I'm gonna be estimating that little spot in between. And I think that one's right in the middle as well. So 2,225.5, and we're gonna attach those units. I didn't say that there were centimeters or anything, but you can certainly take a guess here. And then let's look at this, 110, 120. Oh, these hash marks are going up by one. And I can see that that's going up to at least 114. I get to estimate one more digit. I'm gonna say that's 0.1. That's pretty darn close to that other side. Over here we have 1,000, 1,100, and 1,200. Oh, this is going up by hundreds. So the one underneath the hundreds is a 10, right? So I have, 1100 and let's call that 20. So still, just breaking it down, this is my estimated digit. This is my estimated digit. This is my estimated digit, this one here. So I'm always going one further than what the scale will allow me to do. Over here, we have 0.1. So this is 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.05, 0 0.06. So we have 0 0.06 and I'm going to say that's right in the middle too. Sorry, it wouldn't be a decimal. That's my bad. And then centimeters, right? And then trying these ones out as well. We have 0 0.01, 0 0.02. So I'm going even further down that scale. So we're increasing the precision of our instrument, right? So we have 0 0.02, so 0 0.021, 0 0.02 uh, 2, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, I think that's right on there. So 0 0.026. And if I think it's dead on that number, I'm still going to estimate it. And I'm still going to put that zero there. And that's still centimeters. And then last but not least, we have this right here. So we have six, seven, this is going up by ones. I know it's at least an eight. All right. I know it's at least an eight. It's not quite a nine. And I can estimate that point. I think it's pretty close, so 8.9 cm. So that's all we're doing. We're always finding out what the scale is, how far can I go, and what digits am I estimating. So you're going to determine the scale and estimate one additional digit beyond what that scale can do. 
So in our case here, again, six, seven, eight, nine, we're going at 8.9 right on that edge of that scale. And that's how you do your measurements. Now we do have one different one, and that's when we're talking about a graduated cylinder. So a graduated cylinder, this one I actually gave it to you in milliliters, so you gotta look and see what it's telling you. If we were doing this one right here, it's going up by ones again, one, two, three. So it's still telling me, and this looks like 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and I think that's dead on, 2.30 milliliters. And then over here we have tens, 10, 20, 30, and then 40. Oh, okay, this goes up by ones, so 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so I have 38. I get to estimate that one more. I think it's right in the middle. And those are my two estimates. Now, graduated cylinder, just a refresher from biology. When you're doing that in the lab, you estimate to the bottom of this bubble. So this is the bubble. That's where the marker would be in your, in your scale. So right here, right where the bottom touches, not the sides. The sides are going to trick you because they're going to bend down because that water is going to, or whatever substance it is, is going to stick to the side of that glass a little. So we have to be mindful that we're looking at the bottom of that curve. Okay. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.